Hey guys, I'm just about to do a video on this here Blue Eddy. Now, you're going to love this thing, but you don't always need the big one. I've got a smaller one we're going to show you. It's a different brand, but built similar. And I got a whole bunch of stuff on the table set up, so let's go check that out. You're going to love this. All right, so I'm out here with Ida and her daughter. That is Ruby. And I have a little Browie. This is tiny but not really it's got this it's charging right now let's see if i can get you a picture of that and you would think something this small not very big see that it's not really big you would think something this small would not handle very much but prepare to be surprised i've done a video on this once before and it has maintained amazing ability. Look below the video. I'll put a link to these. This has outdone itself. It, it, this will run a small air conditioner. Not a long time. It doesn't have a huge battery in it. But you talk about handy. So I'm out here. Check this out. I, I got all this metal here. I'm building. And so I got my big generator. Well, it sucks a lot of fuel. Makes a hell of a lot of noise. And go to go to James Condon's video. He shows doing a muffler on one of these. Excellent video. And but this one right here is overkill for everything that I'm basically doing. So I'm out here with my old trusty Harbor Freight Chicago. Remember that? Remember that brand? I bought ten of these for twelve dollars a piece when they changed the name to a, basically Bauer or some crap. And I'm out here cutting metal studs. So what I've got is this build. Back here on the back of the building, I have a build going on, okay? So this is a nice big um, 8 by 20 back porch or awning or whatever you want to call it using oil fill pipe because we get this real cheap where I'm at and metal studs, all right? Now, and we've got, I'll show you on the back of the building, we've got water tanks, huge water tanks. You see these back here? Um, and we get all our water from rain. We get 130,000 gallons a year, so it's really easy to do. Okay, over here on this thing here, we have a very cool little power station. I've got it plugged in, and it says 110, but it's about 116, so it, it runs everything easy. These things got everything on it. Look at the dirt. This has been laying in my truck for months, and I use it in my truck a lot of times because the battery will go dead will go dead so i have a little plug in that's just a little micro charger like a three quarters of an amp and this thing here is sitting in the truck with this all the time open um where it can get mostly sunlight at least two hours a day has almost never gone down to zero it just keeps my truck charged it's funny how that works huh but over here with this thing it does amazing for its power output away this is so that it can be inserted that's a mouth cut so that it can be inserted you see like that into the roof line so we're going to get that built and we're using this and believe it or not when i cut a piece and i go install it by the time i come back about probably 75 percent of its power has been restored due to this solar panel and it's a cloudy day so i'll show you that i want you to see other things on the property here so cloudy you see whoa boom all right so i got my motor home sitting over there with some other stuff so now this does a hell of a job i think it's only like 40 watts but in 20 minutes it puts back the power pretty much that that thing used and then i'll come back over and i'll cut something else and it starts so i never really run out of power i've been using this thing 
so much for doing these little outdoor jobs. I, I never want little tiny power stations, but this has the gonads, I guess you'd call it, to do it. I mean, it's it's strong. So if you want to get a really good little cheap power station, these aren't real expensive. With a solar panel right there, boom, there's the name of it, Browie. Now, I don't know of another brand that makes a similar one. And so far, I have never, not once, my all powers faulted. Um, I have a older Delta um, power station faulted. I have a uh, another power station that was an oops, and it was their first generation fan system quit on it. This thing I've had now for going on two years, constantly basically in service, nothing wrong. So if you want to get one, look below the video, I'll put a link to it. I think these little browies are just impressive. So I'll close this and let you see. It's just a little suitcase. Isn't that freaking cool? And it's easy, really easy. Look, it's got a little pop out right here that pops out so you can prop it. All the stuff that you'd want. And that runs my 12 volt cooker. It says 10 amp. It'll run up to 14 amps before it starts to blink. So it don't have a problem with, with 11 amp. Like 90% of them, they only give you 10 amps. This one here, we got dirt in there. This one here, it'll push enough to run my 12 volt little electric frying pan and my little cooker, no problems. And it's only got on one outlet, but you can put a little power strip on it. It'll run your TV. It's a beautiful pure sine wave, awesome little machine. I love this thing. I love it. So you can see the specs on it right there. Y'all get a good picture of that? That's what you're dealing with. Worth every dime. If you got a three to four or five hour power energy out, you know, your, your power goes out, that'll keep your refrigerator running for about eight to 10 hours. Easy. You put an extension battery with a 12 volt plug off of it, you know, two alligator clips on a uh, lithium battery, plug it straight in and it'll run all night. Perfect. Starts a big refrigerator, no problem. So beautiful. All right, guys, I'm gonna get back to work. We've got a ton of building. I've got to finish this project here. And there's what, 1500 gallons of water in the ground there. And there's another tank there that collects. So this is on the back of the building and we're still in the process of finishing it out. And y'all gonna see a video soon about to do with this sewer. that's gonna be boxed and framed in, you won't see that. But we're gonna do a video on that with a rear outlet toilet coming up real soon. So stay tuned, subscribe, and y'all be good.